A win is a win. Let's celebrate that at least. Hello, Pittsburgh Steelers fans, and welcome to the latest episode of your Pittsburgh Steelers Syndicate on what is a Victory Tuesday. A Victory Tuesday, yeah, it's a Victory Tuesday, guys. Weird, isn't it? Not been a Victory Monday, but hey, it's a Victory Tuesday. So last night, the Pittsburgh Steelers came out on top, beating the Indianapolis Colts in Indianapolis by 24 points to 17. A gritty, battling Steeler football type performance really was, guys, from our Steelers last night. Was it the perfect performance? No. Was it an amazing performance? No. Did he get the job done? Yes. And I think that's the thing that we have to hold on to. You know, there are a number of positives we can draw from last night. There are a number of negatives that we can draw from last night, as there seems to be with every single Steeler football game. But let's start with the stats. Let's start in the statistics side of it, and then we'll move in to the analysis side of it. So hang on. We'll talk a bit more about Pickett. We'll talk a bit about Benny Snell. We'll talk about Alex Highsmith. We'll talk a bit about John T. Johnson. And we'll talk a bit also about what this means for the rest of the season. And also, I want to talk to all of you out there who want us, wanted us to tank, wanted us to tank the rest of the season, go for the high draft pick. And I want to tell you why tanking is not the answer. No, tanking will do this this franchise no favors whatsoever. So hang on for that, and I will get to that in a bit. So here's our stats from last night: Kenny Pickett, twenty of twenty-eight, one hundred seventy-four yards, no TDs, no interceptions. So you might say he didn't throw any touchdowns, but positive. From that, though, is the fact that Kenny did not turn the ball over again, which is a very big positive. Benny Snell, 12 carries, 62 yards, 5.2 average, one touchdown. Is this the start of the Benny Snell football era finally coming? I've always been a big critic of Benny Snell. I've criticised him all week, and finally he comes through. Perhaps I need to criticise him ahead of next week. Najee Harris, 10 carries, 35 yards, 3.5 yards a carry and a touchdown. Obviously, Najee didn't come back out for the second half with injury. Kenny Pickett, six carries, 32 yards, 5.3 average. Again, a decent average. Kenny Pickett is mobile and can run. Uh, Anthony McFarlane Jr., six carries for 30 yards, five yards a carry. Anthony McFarlane Jr. had a decent game last night. Uh, Gunnar Szeski, one, one carry for nine yards. And Derek Watt, one carry for four yards. Moving to the receiving side of it, uh, George Pickens, three receptions, 57 yards, averaging 19 yards of reception, a really good high there. Uh, Deontay Johnson, 5.49, again, 9.8, again, under 10 yards uh, reception, as he seems to be permanently throughout his career. Uh, Pat Freyamuth, three catches for 39 yards, 13-yard average. Anthony McFarlane, two for 11, 5.5. Stephen Sims, two for nine, four and a half. I don't get why they still won't target Stephen Sims. Benny Snell, one for six. Najee Harris, one for four. Cody White, one for two. Obviously, Cody White was only elevated to the squad yesterday. Derek Watt, one for one. And Zach Gentry, one for negative four on the night. Now, so there's the stats. Let's deal with the positives, guys. Kenny Pickett seems to be growing. He seems to be growing into the role of being an NFL quarterback. And that is a positive moving forward towards next season. Obviously, answering back the likes of Jerry Dulac, who called for him to be benched. This is a real growing experience for Pickett. This is a season where he needs to grow, he needs to move forward and he get ready for 2023. Realistically, Steeler fans, we're not going to the playoffs this year. We're not going to contend this year. It's all about building for the future. And this is what we're going to do with Pickett going forward. So Pickett, I think, grew. He improved. He had one of his better games. And also we saw um, a Ben-esque fourth quarter drive, didn't we? You know, where he came, where he drove the team down the field over 70 yards and it culminated in that Benny Snell touchdown. Also, you know, the two-point conversion as well. Now, two things to pick up from that drive. Number one was that was a read option, which uh, Pickett changed and called for the Benny Snell touchdown. And even Mason called back up by saying it was Kenny that called it. It was an audible. Kenny's calling those audibles for himself now. Also, the two-point conversion, he rolled to his left, saw nothing open, then came back to his right. Pickens followed him. He threw the ball to Pickens, got the two-point conversion, a real sign of maturity. Pickett is growing into this role. Was he perfect? No, but he's a rookie. He's still learning. So anyone who's criticising him, get off his back. Uh, Benny Snell, I think, had one of his best performances in a Steeler jersey last night, showing some cuts, showing some good running, running as well. And Mac as well, a good performance. And also Alex Highsmith coming up with the stack, sack and taking his total to nine sacks for this season. A very good performance. I think was it 10 sacks. Do forgive me for that. 10 sacks. So, you know, he's really making a move forward. Negatives? Well, again, it was a tale of two halves, wasn't it? You know, in terms of the Steelers go into the, into the half, in half game with a, with a lead and then the Colts come back and the Steelers almost blow it there at the end. So, yes, 
yes, I get it. You know, at the end of the day, it was a tale of two halves, wasn't it? You know, it was a tale of two halves, and that's just how see the football is at this moment in time, in my opinion. <clears throat> now, let's deal with another thing. <clears throat> let's deal with the tanking crew. Now, there's a lot of fans out there that want us to tank don't they? They want us to tank. They want us to tank this season. They want us to fall apart. They want us to lose these last seven games. Now it's going to be six games. They want us to finish this season at <clears throat> three and 14. Guys, it will do the franchise no favours. It doesn't no favours. Plus, you're dealing with players here that are playing for their futures. Now, let's deal with the first point. Tanking will do this franchise no favours. Tanking has never done a franchise any favours. Look at the teams over the years that tank season in, season out. How much further forward are they now than they were in the past? The Browns, the Lions, the Jags. Are they any better off? Are they really? No, they're not. They're still suffering. Losing becomes a habit. Negativity breeds into that franchise. And that is not a good thing. The tanking guide is not going to get you anywhere. Now, what else? You've got players out there that are going to are playing for their futures. Demonte KZ, one-year contract. Terrell Edmonds, one-year contract. Larry Ogunjobi, one-year contract. Cam Sutton, contract year. Are these guys going to lay down and die and just let teams run over them? No, of course they're not. They're fighting for their futures. They're going to play up. They're going to work hard. They're going to fight. They don't want to tank. They don't want to finish with a really negative record. So, of course, it's not going to work. Tanking doesn't work, guys. Tanking's never worked. It's never worked. And those of you who want us to tank, I, I question the fact that you're true Steeler fans. How can any fan want to go out there and want their team to lose? I don't understand it. I don't get it. Just don't understand it at all. Tanking is not good for this franchise. And if you want us to tank, go support the Browns. Okay, guys, that's my thoughts on last night's game anyway. Sorry I couldn't be on the post-game show with Mark. I've got an early start this morning, got work in about half an hour. Um... Thank you for watching the Pittsburgh Steelers Syndicate. Remember to hit that sub, ring that notification bell, and come and join the Pittsburgh Steelers Syndicate. Thanks for watching, guys. Here we go, Steelers. Come on!